So this question is a little bit more involved and it relies on having a bit of knowledge about how energy works. So we've got a 20 gram arrow once again. Uh, initially it has 8.8 .8 joules of kinetic energy when it's fired vertically upwards. Uh, and we want to know how high it goes. Now you've got to remember that energy can't be created or destroyed, just transferred from one store to another. And we're going to assume that all of its energy is transferred to gravitational potential en energy. So there's no energy lost to the surroundings. So what we can then say is that the kinetic energy that it had at the beginning has all been transferred to gravitational potential energy at the end. So what do we know from the question? Well, we know the mass of the arrow is equal to 0 0.020 kilograms. We know that the kinetic energy it had, uh, which is going to be equal to the potential energy it has at the end, is equal to 8.8 .8 joules. And also we've been given the fact that the gravitational field strength is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. So uh, we're going to use the equation that says EP is equal to mgh. Now we know the energy, we know the mass, and we know the gravitational field strength. We need to rearrange to make H the subject. And we can do that by saying H is equal to EP over mg. Okay, so maybe just need to, you, know, you might need to pause the video just to kind of sort of see how that works. So uh, if we know these values, we can find the value of the height. So that's just going to be equal to 8.8 .8 divided by 0 0.020 times 9.8. Once again, just uh, putting this into my calculator, so 8.8 .8 divided by 0 0.02 times 9.8, I'm going to put that in brackets, and this then gives a value of 44.897. I'm going to give my final answer to two significant figures, like my raw data, and therefore the height is going to be equal to um, this thing here, which is rounded up to 45 metres. So that's how high this arrow would go.